So my background has mostly been in the media. I've done a lot of work in radio and television for, gosh, almost 30 years. Um, but in the, around about 2012, um, I took over, as it was then, Performance 4A, now Contemporary Asian Australian Performance. So we create theatre um, and we're creating work that does look at what it means to be someone from Asian Australian background in Australia. It's a whole area that really hasn't been explored in the theatre. Um, and a lot of the work we do, not all, but a lot of the work we do is based on storytelling. People telling their own stories, personal lived experiences. And that's the basis of the work that I do, particularly with William Young, who's developed a storytelling technique for the theatre, uh, which he's used to take uh, shows all over the world. Storytelling and theatre is all about, it's about helping you make sense of something, understand something. Um, and so it is the most powerful way of really getting your head around all the complex issues that are involved in these cases. Um, and I think that that's, that's why uh, that it's been so effective. A very important part of the Life Giving Stories events though, apart from the storytelling performance, is that we have a Q&A at the end. Uh, and you, we usually include uh, one or two people uh, with um, expertise, like medical expertise, who know the rules, who know all the regulations, all that sort of stuff. And people immediately have someone they can ask all the things, that, that they, all the questions that they have and get the information they need. Uh, and so that's something that makes it a little bit different too. I think it's very innovative of uh, MHCS to be looking at using um, art and theatre and performance in this way uh, to actually reach out to people in a more meaningful and compelling way. But also the great thing about this experience for me has been to work with a department that knows what it is like to try and communicate directly with various communities. The thing about um, MHCS is I think they do have those direct links, they have that expertise, and we're able to really make a direct connection with the communities, not only to get our storytellers, but to find the audience to whom we need to communicate these very important messages. Look, I'm really impressed that a, basically a government department is so open to doing something like this that is um, artistic, but also incredibly personal. Um, and in a way, it's a, it was a little bit of a risk at the beginning to, to get us to do this, but obviously the theatre filled and the audience has responded in kind and, and now we're going to do it for a third time and we've won an award, so obviously it works. So that's one thing, the openness and willingness to run with something that's a little bit different. Happy anniversary, MHCS. Congratulations on the wonderful work you do. It's been a total privilege for us at Contemporary Asian Australian Performance to partner with you, and I hope we'll continue to keep doing so for many years to come.